do it just for the sake of loving her and just for the sake of having a holy moment. She was scrambling to get a lot of things done and one thing that um, that happened in the midst of it all is, Hi there, it's great to have you back again. I'm Jack Beers. I'm Victoria Taylor. And this is Holy Moments Alive. The place where we pick a daily holy moments prompt to inspire an epic collaboration with God. Yesterday, I had the chance to do something for someone who couldn't pay me back. So here's how it went. Let's roll the tape. All right, so today's holy moment prompt was to do something loving for someone who can't pay you back. Uh, and so um, my wife is uh, out of town for the day. And I know that um, before she left, she was scrambling to get a lot of things done. And one thing that, um, that happened in the midst of it all is that there was a serious applesauce incident in our van. Uh, and so she, she had to go before, her, before that was taken care of. And so when I was thinking about the prompt today and what what I might do for someone who can't pay me back. Um, it put me in this state of generosity and I thought, you know what I'm gonna do when the kids take their nap? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go clean up the applesauce incident and clean the whole car, not just that spot, but clean the whole car. And I'm not even gonna say anything to her. Um, I'm sure she'll notice, but I'm not even gonna say anything to her because I, I don't need anything in return. And this is an amazing thing about Holy Moments that I never would have realized. It's like, in the past, I probably have been like, oh, I should go clean up that applesauce so Katie doesn't have to, and she gets home, and you know, I should go do that, la, la, la. Um, but holy moments is like, no, I have this amazing opportunity to have a holy moment to surprise and delight my wife. You know, she's not gonna be able to pay me back right away. I could just do it for her, ask for nothing in return, and do it just for the sake of loving her and just for the sake of having a holy moment. And I cannot believe how much I receive out of that, how much delight I actually had getting on my hands and knees and scrubbing old applesauce. I mean, amazing. It's so amazing. And, and holy moments are so cool. You know, I noticed that in the video, you mm -hmm. didn't tell the world who gave you the idea for yesterday's holy moment. Wow, wow. Would, uh, would you like me to tell everyone who gave me the idea, Victoria? Yes, please. Okay, my very humble, and holy friend, Victoria Taylor. Happy? Yes, very. All right, let's get to your <laughs> prompt for today, and it is tip generously. Oh, this is awesome, I love this. I wasn't sure if there was gonna be one specifically relating to money in here, but I'm really glad there is. Well, I mean, Jesus does talk about money more than any other topic in the Gospels, so money must be pretty darn important spiritually. In this context, too, money can create the opportunity for some amazing and transformative holy moments. So I can't wait to see how God works through this prompt in your life. Simply open yourself up to God, put aside self-interest for a moment, and then tip what you prayerfully believe God is calling you to tip. Then come back tomorrow to see what this prompt does in my life. In the meantime, you can keep sharing your holy moments by emailing us at info at dynamiccatholic.com with a short video or simply comment in the section below. Until tomorrow, keep, keep the, the holy, holy momentum, momentum going. going. Holy Moments Alive is made possible by the Dynamic Catholic Ambassadors Club. Click here to help spread the holy momentum by becoming an ambassador today. When you do, you will receive a six pack of holy moments every month for a year. For a year? For a year. Whoa. Amazing.